here's a walkthrough on a 2020 Schaefer 24 we currently have listed for sale. We wanted to take you through some of the highlighted areas and we're gonna start at the engine. Single 300 on a porter bracket with two power poles. This boat is capable of doing 45 miles an hour and burning somewhat between 2.1 and 2.5 miles per gallon at a 30 plus mile an hour cruise. So you got a 25 gallon live well here in the transom, which is nice and convenient. Stainless steel holders for your deep drop rods, which could potentially be included in the sale. You've got a small access here to your bilge, but gets the job done. You got more access to make your service simple and easy. This boat has a lot of storage, which you're gonna see starting off right here behind the leaning post. So that goes pretty deep underneath there, can store a lot of your gear with absolutely no problem. We have an eight foot six beam here, 100 gallons of fuel with 25 gallons of fresh water. Now check this thing out. This is the leaning post, which is quite unique. You have your traditional live well lid right there, just for daily fishing as you're running the boat. But when you're gonna load up, on bait, you can lift this up, which exposes the entire 50 gallon live well right there. So you can drop your net in, pull it out, sabikis in and out with ease. And then when you're ready to fish, you drop this back. Standard operation like every other boat out there with a traditional leaning post. Work our way up to the console area. We have two Garmin 8612s, as you can see right here. Your rocker switch panel conveniently placed right in front, your gauges. You got your controls for your power poles right there and your binnacle on the right hand side. Drop underneath here. We got some storage, which you're gonna see your Icom VHF and then down below some additional drawers. Keep all your stuff quick and easily accessible. We'll continue working our way around. You'll see you have an Isinglass set up here, which we actually pulled up this area, which exposes a ladder. Before we get to that, additional tackle storage you can put Plano boxes in here and add whatever you need in that area. And then if you wanna come up and fish from the second station, all you gotta do is climb up right here and you got additional height from that of your traditional stand through second station. So field of visibility here is excellent. Bill does a lot of cobia fishing, so this is perfect for that. You don't have a Garmin unit up here, but this is basically to get you to your spot and you jump up here to do your fishing. So there's a full couch set up so you can sit back relax when you're at your fishing spot and there's some lay down rod holders here layback holders that you can actually drop a rod in the aft position and drop a live bait into the live well from here so if you do see a fish you can pull that rod out actually get that bait out of the live well and cast right here so it's a pretty smart setup and then you have another ladder to get back down here on the starboard side as well we have vertical rod storage both starboard and port as you're going to notice this boat is built for fishing and very well built for that. Here you got your forward seat on the console. You got an insulated cooler, plus a great spot just to sit back and relax when you're cruising out to the fishing grounds. Every space in this boat below deck is built tall enough to be able to accommodate a five gallon bucket. That's a nice feature as you're gonna see here and in the cockpit one that we saw a minute ago. This will be your insulated fish box. You also have a separation device there if you did want to keep other items in there and split it up with fish or you know use it as a cooler to take a longer trip. You got storage, both port and starboard here as well. Again, nice and deep to be able to accommodate all kinds of gear. And then up at the bow, you have a Minn Kota Tarova. Increasingly popular, we're seeing it on boats all the way into the larger 40 foot range, but absolutely perfect on a Schaefer 24 like this if you want to kind of cruise the inshore flats or spot lock yourself on a reef out there. This thing is excellent for that. You got three batteries that are specific for the Minn Kota and you can access those right here. And you got two for the boat. So easy to access everything. You got your battery switches and the battery charger right under here. So easy to get to everything. Replace a battery if you were to need to, but a beautiful boat. So overall, we've looked through the entire thing and it really is well kept. All the maintenances have been done on the engine. So. It has a thousand plus hours on it, but has never had an issue. The only things that we did notice are things like this, the upholstery, the combing bolsters, which have been spoken that could be replaced if the owner were to want it. And the ising glass could potentially be tightened up a little bit, but overall you're getting an excellent boat at a great price here in the Schaefer 24. Reach out to us if you have any questions on it, or if you would like to set up a viewing or a sea trial.